All right, here's a, a simple net present value portfolio problem that a lot of us may encounter using the HP-12C to solve it. But essentially, here's a problem. The problem says, let's say a client invests and deposits $200,000 into an investment portfolio. And from that portfolio, he's... Uh, receiving the first year he's going to get ten thousand dollars from it second year he's going to have twelve thousand dollars third year he'll get fourteen thousand dollars over three years this is over three years at the end of three years he or she sells his portfolio for two hundred twenty five thousand dollars they made a little profit um, the client did have an, a, a rate of return requirement of twelve percent the person wanted to make twelve percent on their money on their investment so then the question is you know what was in that present value and did he or she uh, do the right thing by investing uh, in this portfolio? So let's find out. So now we're going to clear all the registers. Um, let's put in $200,000 into change sign because it's your investing into CFO. The first year you're gonna get is $10,000. CFI, CFJ, then $12,000, CFJ, and $14,000, CFJ. Then, third year, you're going to sell it for $225,000, $225, CFJ. You have an internal, you have a, an interest rate of return requirement of 12%. So let's see what the net present value comes out to be. So the net present value was actually negative, $28,548.61. So this tells you that it, you didn't really meet your 12% requirements. And in fact, you were deficit by $28,548.61 short from that. So, you know, if your rate of return requirement was maybe 8%, maybe it would have been an okay investment. Just because it's not an investment good for you may not be that it's not an investment good for somebody else who has a lower rate of return requirement. And they'll be very happy with 8% because this may calculate to 8%. Um, so this is how you would answer this question, is that if this was a question that was asked um, either from an exam or from somebody, whether they should invest in this portfolio given the rate of return requirements that they have, knowing that these cash flows are going to come in? The answer is no. They should not invest in this portfolio. Um, net present value came out negative. And um, very simple calculation. Hopefully this was useful for you guys. Thank you.